Hi everybody. Hope you all are doing well. I have something that I need to share. I do feel like it's um, urgent for me to go ahead and share this dream and this word from this morning, June 7th. So in the dream, like you see here, I was standing in a yard beside a house and someone I know named Chris had come to mow the grass for me or, you know, mow the yard. He had a riding lawnmower because the grass had just gotten out of control. There were weeds and grass everywhere that were just out of control. So he was mowing the yard for me. And as I stood by the house, I noticed a really tall weed that I pulled out of the ground, like by the roots. And then as Chris finished mowing the whole yard, he walked over to me and said something along the lines of, there are just too many weeds. Um, it will have to be burned and replanted. So he was basically, you know, we were discussing together the fact that really the grass was more weeds than grass. And so it needed to just be destroyed. And so we could start over. Um, and before I go on with the rest of the dream, I just wanted to mention that the name Chris um, does mean uh, bearing the image of Christ or, you know, like Christ. So I do believe he represented Christ in the dream. Uh, so next he walked into the house and I followed him in and I realized that he had baked a cake for me. Um, and, you know, at that point, we both realized that we were in love and, um, you know, I was just really surprised that he had made this beautiful cake for me and I actually started eating it in the dream. Um, so a really interesting dream. Um, you know, I think he just really wants us all to know how much he loves us, first of all. Um, and interestingly, as I woke up from the dream, I was hearing the song, My Girl. Um, so I just think that was really sweet because the Lord knows my heart and knows, um, you know, the rough days that I've been experiencing lately um, in so many aspects of my life, just as many of you. And, you know, he has that same love for all of us. And also um, the symbolism with the weeds, I believe, has so much to do with this verse in 2 Peter 3.10. I think this is what the dream symbolized. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. And so I just think this points to where we are at on the timeline. Um, as I've talked about before, you know, here at the age of grace, the end of the age of grace, the end of the church age. And I believe this dream was showing that so many weeds have grown up, um, you know, in this world representing sin and evil, and it's just taking over, you know, as prophesied in the Bible, you know, scripture told us that we would see these things in the end days, you know, lawlessness would increase and hearts of men would grow cold. We see all these things. And so I think that's what the stream was pointing to. And we know that um, the world will be destroyed um, by fire. You know, the judgment will come during this time of great tribulation. And so that's what I believe the dream was about. He was pointing out that we, you know, we see these things around us almost like weeds the sins of the earth. And it reminded me of how Jesus bore the crown of thorns on his head, which symbolized all of the transgressions and evil and sin, you know, that came out of the garden. And he took that on himself. Um, so, yeah. So as, um, before I woke up from this dream, I wanted to also tell you the words that I heard, 
you know, at the very end of the dream as I was with him in this house, which I believe represented rapture. And I heard the words coming there soon, you know, as if he was um, telling me that he's coming soon and rapture is very near. So I thought that was very exciting and I could not wait to share this with you. Um, so then I did want to read these verses um, in Revelation chapter 21. And it goes along with this. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Amen. So I do believe that the time of the rapture is near. And so if you have not placed your faith and trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins and for your salvation, um, please consider the verses in the gospel, which is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which tells us how Jesus was sent from heaven. God sent him to earth. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So Jesus was born on earth as that sacrifice. He lived a perfect life with no sin and became sin for us. Um, you know, we're all sinners and we are all in need of a savior. Um, and so in second Corinthians chapter five, verse 21, it says, for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And so that is what happened on the cross. He shed his blood for the remission for our sin. It was a payment of a debt that we could not pay. Um, he died on the cross and he was buried and God raised him from the dead three days later. So if you believe this and trust him for the forgiveness of your sins and for your salvation, you will be saved. So family, I just wanted to share this encouragement today. I really do believe he's given me so many dreams lately. I just have not even had time to share everything. So I um, really have, you know, some other dreams I want to share as well. Um, you know, along with that dream I told you about in the community post about Israel um, in the morning for Israel. So I just believe that all points to the nearness of Jacob's trouble and the rapture of the church. So I love you all. Um, God bless you and see you soon.